Hey there, Ruud Joli here. Uh, welcome to a new segment on this channel. It's called You'll Show Me Mine and I'll Show You Yours. So the idea behind this is that, you know, every guitar player has a certain style. And I remember that back in the day when I was trying to learn to play solos by Kirk Hammett, um, Steve Vai, uh, the Iron Maiden guys, um, you know, I always came across some parts in solos that for some reason I, I couldn't pull off. But if I would do it in my own style, it would still sound decent. And you know, I've been still studying a lot of guitar players and I teach a lot, so I, I see a lot of people play. And and also with my own students, I come across some some things that 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 I, I just cannot play because it's not in my style or it's not in my fingers. Um, and the same goes for the other people, you know, they can't sometimes play what I'm playing because it just doesn't feel natural. And that got me thinking, hmm, that's maybe an interesting thing to zoom in on. And um, today I'm going to have my very first victim. It's my partner in crime, Stefan Helleblad, you know, the other guitar player in Within Temptation. Uh, he lives in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. So I'm going to have a Skype meeting with him now and I'm going to play his faster solo. And he's going to play my solo in our solemn hour. And, you know, we're going to see what things we are doing differently. Should be fun. Let's call him. Hello. Hi. Hello, maestro. Long time no see. Yeah. Your beard is growing uh, well. Thank you. You look like a, <laughs> like a, like a tomte. Yeah, that's that's the goal. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, I need to be a bit more grey over the whole thing. So you're going for the for the George Clooney uh, look. Is he grey? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Is he alive? I think he is. <laughs> I think he is. Yeah, that's my goal as well. I want to be as grey as possible by the time that we reach uh, that we get to Christmas, because then oh, my beard will be this long, and I might have a gig as Santa Claus somewhere in. In a mall or whatever, because that's not a bad idea. There's not that much else to do, I guess, for us no, at the no. moment. <laughs> and there's there's plenty of time to uh, to rehearse uh, Christmas carols and <laughs> yeah, <stuff>. exactly. <laughs> and what to tell the children when they sit here on your lap. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Hellbloke, thank you yep. for doing this. It's going to be fun. Sure. This is a very new segment. You're. Uh, you're my very first victim uh, of this thing. Uh, it's called uh, "You'll show me mine and I'll show you yours." Or vice versa. I, like I, I, I can never remember, but it's uh, it's in the intro tune. So, so it's a uh, it has a little bit of a double layer, of course, but uh, it's it's a it's a fun title. It doesn't roll off your tongue that quickly, but I don't care about that. So the idea behind this is that, uh, as I said in the in the little introduction. And as I have explained to you, um, you know, there, there are millions of, well, th hundred, ten, tens of ways to, uh, to perform the same, <laughs> the same solo. And, um, you know, you can do it globally without having to really nitpick on the little details. And that's something that I came across when I was learning to play Iron Maiden solos and Metallica solos back in the day, that those players... They had certain ways of playing that I could never get into my system. Mm. But if I would play play it my way, it would still sound pretty much the same. You know, that that's the idea. And, mm. and unfortunately, you weren't able to uh, to do the very last gig that we did uh, with, with Intemptation. That was the Apple Pop in uh, Teal in the Netherlands, because you uh, just had your accident. So I had to play some of your guitar solos. And um, yeah, so I had to study your stuff, and I noticed that uh, um, yeah, I, I in order for 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 those solos to fit my style, I had to change uh, some couple a couple of things. Um, yeah, so that got me thinking that it might be fun to you know to uh, to check on that how it works and what the differences in style. Ah, yeah. I know for a fact that my right hand, my picking hand, is that sucks, really sucks. So I tend to play a bit more legato kind of stuff. 
Yeah. And um, you know that, that that's the thing. Shall we shall we go uh, into the very first thing that we do? We're going to do the our solemn hour, and I suggest that yeah. I play uh, play it the way that I do. Yeah. And then you will play uh, your way. Yeah. Sounds right. good. Cool. Let's do that. Oh, that was interesting. I, I noticed immediately that I, I wanted to look away from the screen because it's like, oh, he, he's playing it over there. Oh, okay. okay. I should have position. position. That would be, yeah. All right. So, Gonna think about that. And... Awesome. Cool. All right. My turn. Yes, your turn. Cool, 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 awesome. So, what, what, what did you notice that you would do differently to make it fit into your style of playing? Well, I, I guess I tend to bend a lot and vibrato it a lot, uh, which I just have to do for some reason because uh, that's what I do. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, and I noticed that one of the the different things. Um, from what I did versus what you did was this uh, little lick here. Whereas you played it uh, somewhere else. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, and that's that kind of for me. It wasn't completely comfortable to do to do that. Because um, I, I I changed the fingering in the middle of the lick, but. Uh, but now, since I've played it a few times, I, I got the hang of it, and it it feels good. Yeah. And, I, and that's one of the the cool things I think about about learning other people's solos or, or uh, riffs and techniques uh, by ear, because mm -hmm. yeah. then then you have to find your own way to to play it, and yeah. then you you yeah. learn new techniques and things that. Yeah. You probably yeah. wouldn't have done if if I would have just l learned the solo exactly from you with your fingerings, then then it would have been different for me. And yeah. Then I didn't. Then I wouldn't have learned that little hmm. uncomfortable hmm. lick there. Ah, cool. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that you that you have a. If you would have to compare our vibratos, that yours maybe a bit more uh, aggressive. Or maybe yeah, slightly yeah. expressive, maybe even. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's something that I picked up from working with you, actually. That that to. Uh, I always thought that the vibrato is a very important technique, since you know sometimes you can hear one note um, played by different guitar players, and you can hear by the different types of vibrato which guitar player it is. So yeah. I think that yeah. that's a very very important technique and that you should have different flavors of vibrato what I always tell my students if they have only one flavor of vibrato is you know would you play the same style of vibrato in a Slayer solo or in a journey ballad yeah yeah so, yeah uh, yeah that's that's a that's a good point maybe you would but you know it's it's good to have different yeah it's a very expressive thing so I always um, motivate people uh, to to work on the vibrato yeah yeah that's a that's a really good thing because because uh, the really wide ones that that really doesn't fit in, in certain types of moods and, and songs uh, and stuff like that so and I feel I feel that there that there are a lot of guitar players out there who use vibrato as a yeah as a tick if you know what I mean or oh, here's a here's a note let's do one run, 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 let's vibrato the shit out of it <laughs> Without, yeah, 
without being really conscious about it. But that's just my 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 feeling. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna take a look at your solo. So, uh, Mr. Hellebloek, play your solo for me, please. And I'm not, I'm not gonna look either. That's fun. That's yeah. a, that's a that's a good that's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, I notice. Uh, I notice quite some differences in that you you pick more notes than I do. I think, especially in that uh, yeah. um, um, that uh, I don't even know if I play the correct well the correct notes. I play hammer-ons here because yeah, like I said, my right hand isn't that uh, that great. And what, what do you play exactly? So I play... Oh, but you pick, you pick everything, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. Like that. Cool. Yeah, I, I noticed that your picking hand is, um, is better than mine. I uh, I need to work on that still. On the other hand, why would I? Because there are no gigs anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Also this... Uh, that... Uh, oh. You pick... Uh, do you pick those? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I pick it. Yeah, yeah. It's not that I can't pick it. Let's make that clear, people of the YouTube land. I can pick them. It's just less comfortable for me. Also, an explanation to f f for the people who are watching. This is not a matter of what is better or what is worse or what's right, what's wrong. It's just a matter about now how to incorporate licks from other people into your own playing so that it still sounds plausible but uh, fits more to your uh, to your style of, uh, of playing guitar yeah and i noticed that you that you play a lot of heavy uh, heavy uh, uh, string bands and stuff like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I do yeah that. that's cool it's fun to uh, to notice all these differences yeah because yeah. and, and, and this solo there's a lot of long notes uh, just hanging there so that's I felt that it's nice to have that there right. yeah you can there's a lot of room for, uh, for expression yeah there is it's also a little bit scary because it, there's a lot of room for uh, crappy bending in there <laughs> I noticed that when I was uh, learning this this solo it's very easy to do a <laughs> yeah and, and especially because i have i have too many guitars uh lying around so i'm playing a lot of different ones at home i have 
shorter scale length and then I have that, this scale length and, and different uh, gauges of strings mm. so you kind of in between a lot of different tensions and then one guitar might be extremely flimsy so you, you do and you're way way off you, yeah 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 so, yeah and then the, yeah, and the next one and you you, you you bend and then it's just like what the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that, yeah. that's, that's yeah. a little bit annoying as well. I hate bending. I should stop that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, cool. This was fun. Coffee. Yeah, I'm out of coffee as well. Shit, I need to make a new coffee. All right, Mr. Helle Bloke. That was uh, that was fun. That was interesting. It was. It was. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's fun to uh, to know about. Uh, other people's styles and what is easy for me doesn't always mean that it's easy for someone else and vice versa yeah. you know I to be really honest I consider myself as a fairly mediocre a little bit above mediocre but fairly mediocre <laughs> guitar player you know if you if, if you check out Instagram for instance man the the, the talent that uh, walks around on this planet it's really 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 amazing really yeah amazing. there's uh, there, there's so many people out there with incredible technique it's, yeah uh... yeah on the other hand you know it's a uh, i talked to uh, asim from uh, winter sun about this that that you know there are a lot of those bedroom uh, uh guitar players who, who are who play extremely well but who might not be able to cope with the pressure of of some of the things that we have to no, it's a different, know, different thing. If you have to play in yeah. front of fifty thousand people, which yeah. is being live streamed all over the all over the interwebs, and that kind of stuff with uh, twenty cameras <laughs> around you, and you have to play an acoustic version of Ice Cream oh, or my a God. pretty yeah, difficult uh, guitar solo, that that's when things are yeah. uh, are a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, on the other hand, one thing doesn't always have to exclude the other, of course. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's interesting to see. So, wh what are you up to at the moment? Are you doing some special things? Can people, because I know that you are a great mixer and you you do mastering as well. Yeah. And I believe that uh, people can contact you if they want some stuff uh, mixed or mastered. Tell me, tell me something about it. Indeed, they can. Well, what I'm doing right now, I I uh, finished up an album a few weeks ago with. Uh, with a new band here, uh, sort of old friends of mine. They've done a lot of great stuff before, and, but now they decided to do stuff again. So, they, so we did an album. Uh, it turns out great. Um, and right now, I'm finish up some 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 uh, Americana recording that I did here, which is cool. quite different cool. from from uh, the distorted metal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. always fun to do different things, and I, I love that. So, yeah. Yeah. so it doesn't matter what style you have. Just, uh, just contact me, and I will make it sound great. And how how, how can they contact you? Uh, well, just go to my Instagram, for, for okay. example. Direct message me or Facebook, of course. I'll put uh, links. I'll put links in the description. Okay, man. Thank you very much. Um, Take care over there in Stockholm. I hope that you are safe and that your family is safe. Likewise, man. This was really fun. Thank you. All right, man. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be uh, the first one to. Uh... Yeah. All right, man. Take care, and I hope to see you uh, in real life soon again. That means yeah. that we can do some gigs again. Yeah, that would, that would be something. All right, man. See you later. Take care. Take care. Bye.